Welcome to the fourth lesson of our Photon tutorial series on how to convert your games into online multiplayers. For this lesson, we're going to be networking and synchronizing our ball prefab for our Pong project. To get started, we want to go to the folder where we have our ball prefab saved, and then we want to double click on our ball prefab to open it up. Now like the paddle prefab, the first thing that we need to do is add a photon view to this object. So I'm going to click on add component and then with photon typed into the search, I'll click on photon view. Next we'll move this ball prefab to inside the resources folder just in case we decide we want to instantiate more balls into our game. Now we don't necessarily need to instantiate a ball into our game scene if we already have a ball in the hierarchy. This will just mean that the ball object in our scene is owned by our scene instead of a player. The same thing goes for any networked object that is already in the hierarchy to begin with. Now let's work on synchronizing the movement of our ball. And since the ball is moved using physics, we want to attach a photon rigid body 2D view. So I'm going to click on add component. And then with Photon typed into the search, I'm going to click on Photon Rigid Body 2D View. We then want to have only Synchronized Velocity selected, and we'll drag this component into the Observed component of our Photon View. Now objects that are owned by the scene are controlled by the master client. And so we need to add some conditions to our ball controller script. And so I'll open that up. Once you have this script opened, we'll add a namespace at the top. The namespace will be using photon.pun and then we'll add one condition to the beginning of our update function and we'll check to see if we are the master client so photon network dot is master client and we actually want to check to see if this is false so I'll add an exclamation mark out in front if this is false then it means we are not the master client and if we are not the master client then we want to return before we do anything else inside our update function. Now that should handle the movement of our ball. This will make it so that only the master client is the one actually controlling the ball, and then the movement of the ball is synchronized using the Photon Rigid Body 2D view. So let's make sure that all of our scripts are saved and we'll go back to Unity. Back in Unity, I'm going to build my project and we'll test it out. All right, so here I have my project built and running in both the standalone and my editor. I'm going to click play in the standalone and then play in the editor. Now in the editor, if I try to press the space bar, you'll notice that nothing happens, but I can move the top paddle. Then in the standalone, this is the master client because it joined first. I should be able to press the space bar and the ball starts moving and it looks like the ball is synchronized. You'll also notice that the score is still synchronized, and that's because the score is only dependent on whether or not the ball enters an end zone. And since the ball is synchronized, the scores are two. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to synchronize the ball for our multiplayer pong.